Hey guys, quick video regarding frameworks for your web applications. So first off, before we get started, I want to talk about what a framework is. A framework, in short, is pulling someone else's code into your web application. You're using something that someone else has already written to make it easier to create the application that you're designing. Now, before we go further, I want to say that there's something very closely related to a framework, and it's called a library. Now, what's the difference between a framework and a library? A framework provides the entire structure for your application, and you're expected to follow that structure in order to use the framework. Think about something like Bootstrap. Now, a library is just a collection of reusable code that you can plug in wherever you need. Think about something like jQuery. So, why would you use a framework or a library in your developing your application? Well, it's easy. You want to save time and effort. You want to use solid code that someone else has written and that's been tested by other people and hopefully doesn't have many bugs or security issues in it. This also helps you do things that you're not comfortable doing. So, if you have a very specialized need that's outside of your comfort zone, chances are somebody has created a library to help you do that or a framework. You also get cross-browser, cross-platform support for that code in most cases. Most libraries and frameworks have been tested across the different platforms and most of the bugs have been worked out. So, where can you use a framework or library in your project? There's a bunch of different places that you can use them. First off, you can use them in an area that the user never sees, which is to manage dependencies. And what do I mean by managing dependencies? Well, you're managing the frameworks and libraries that you use in your project. So for example, if you use jQuery, you have to link to jQuery somehow. If you use Bootstrap, you have to download the Bootstrap code somehow. A framework or a library that manages your dependencies downloads that code automatically, getting the right software and the right version, and it allows you to do it simply by specifying what you need in a text file. So you think of something like Composer for PHP, you just open up a JSON file, type in a command that says I'm requiring a particular library in a particular version, and then when you build your uh, project on your server, it automatically downloads that code. Without Composer, you would have to go and manually download that particular library as a zip file and then unzip it and put it in the right place. If you're using a tool like Node.js to develop your web application, you might use something similar called NPM, Node Package Manager. So there are a variety of frameworks and libraries that will manage your dependencies within your particular application. Now, another area that we could use frameworks or libraries is for server-side programming. You could use a framework such as Laravel, which provides things like authentication and authorization tools built into them, so you don't have to build uh, a login process or a password reset process. However, using these particular types of frameworks means that you're building your application specifically to use that framework and you're building it the way those developers expect you to do. But the benefit is that you don't have to build an authentication framework. You could also use a framework or a library for client-side programming. For example, jQuery, very popular. You can avoid writing things like document.getElementById and replace it with simply a dollar sign. And that does the same thing. It makes your code cleaner and faster and cross-platform. Lastly, another area you might use a framework or a library is for style and appearance. We're all familiar with Bootstrap. That helps you lay out your pages uh, lay out the widgets and tiles on the pages with just a few lines of CSS. Without something like Bootstrap, you would have to create your own CSS and your own structure for the documents. So, we've seen a lot of reasons you might want to use a framework or a library in your application, but what are the risks you might run into? Well, the obvious one is security risks. You're using someone else's code. You don't know what that person has written in their code, so you're taking on some amount of risk when you 
include their code in your application. Also, you don't know what type of security they have on their development environment. So a malicious actor could actually go in and inject code into their library without them knowing, and it would show up in your application. It's also possible you could be using an outdated version. They could have fixed a security issue in version 1.2, but you're still in 1.1. Without knowing to go and upgrade, you would still have that security issue, which is now a known security issue. Lastly, stability could be an issue or a risk with using somebody else's library. It's possible that they do have bugs in it that you're not aware of, and it's also possible that someone decides they're no longer going to maintain that library. And that means that you either have to remove the library altogether and replace it with your own code or find a replacement. So we can see why we'd want to use libraries in our application and use frameworks in our application, but just know that there are some risks associated with using them and there may be some additional work that we have to do.